Hi guys, I hope that you're all having an awesome day. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with another The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly handbag updates. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get the show on the road, shall we? All right, so today I am featuring four handbags. The first one being the beautiful Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 Bandolier in the monogram canvas. Okay, so I have had this bag for six and a half years. And if you have been watching my channel since the beginning, Many of you know how I felt about the bandolier. Uh, and for those of you that don't know, I hated it. I remember when Louis Vuitton uh, announced that they were going to do the whole bandolier thing. I was so against it. I was like, why would you do this? Why would you mess with an icon? It's a classic. Leave the speedy alone. Blah, blah, blah. You name it. I was just like, no, absolutely no. And I swore that this bag would never make it to my collection. However, I ate my words one letter at a time because this is such a fantastic handbag. And the fact that they added a bandolier strap to it is, is genius because you have so much more play with it. You can incorporate it into your life so many more ways instead of just a hand carry bag or uh, back then people would end up adding straps to these little buckles here and it would cause the bag to age very awkwardly because uh, you would end up getting creasing. Sometimes those creasings would turn into cracks and it would just pull on the, on the canvas here. It was just... It was not the greatest thing, but at the time, that's what people were doing because they wanted a crossbody option. So again, the fact that they added this, I thought was amazing. Uh, so to be completely honest with you, this is actually my most used Speedy. I have four Speedies in my collection, not including the Nano, and I cannot get enough of it. I cannot get enough of it. I think it is wonderful. Be it the 25, the 30, or the 35, I think that they are all fantastic because of this. Now, the funny thing is, is that I don't always end up using this strap. Um, sometimes I like to use a chain. Sometimes I like to just hand carry it. But again, the versatility that it offers, I think is absolutely wonderful. Uh, now, as far as this one, um, this, in my opinion, has aged beautifully as many of you know, I do not treat any of my handbags. I don't add any conditioner to my handbags. And uh, I love the patina that it has gotten over the years. And uh, it's just with the oils in my hands, just with the oils in my hands. And it's been amazing. Uh, no pop stitches. It's in fantastic condition. Considering how often I use it, um, I think, I think it's good. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. Uh, okay. Now I did take off the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, the lock on here. Sometimes the lock drives me nuts. So I like to leave it open. Uh, and with this bag, I get, uh, questions quite often about the, an organizer needing an organizer. So sometimes I use an organizer. Sometimes I don't. Uh, the reason why I don't like using an organizer is because for me personally, I love the speedy sag. I love when you have it fully loaded, uh, or even if you don't, have it fully loaded and everything just kind of goes down to the bottom. To me, that is a staple to this silhouette, to this style. I know that a lot of people find that to be an eyesore. I personally don't. Uh, but on the days when I wanted to have a little bit more structure, uh, that's when I go for this. And this uh, was from Samorga and this thing has been absolutely amazing. But um, let me show you guys. Let me do a little... On the inside, there is not a stain in place. Nothing. This bag, I, like I said, I think it is aged gracefully. Uh, but peep it out. Beautiful patina and very, very comfortable. The same goes for the strap. Beautiful patina on there. There are no gnarly water stains or anything like that. And even if it did get water stains, it's like, so what? You know, I'm, I'm enjoying the bag. I'm using the bag to the fullest. Uh, now, another thing that I get asked is the opening. Do I find the opening to be annoying? Uh, is it kind of a pain in the ass to put your items in or take them out? Does it scratch your hand? When I first got this bag, it was a little stiff, obviously, right? So uh, over time with use, it's definitely relaxed a little bit more. And I don't find it to be... I don't find it to, to scratch my hand whenever I put items in here or anything along those lines. I don't think that this is too small. If you are trying to carry full size items such as a full size wallet, yes, you can carry it in here. You just kind of have to put it, uh, depending on the size, of course. If you have like a really large organizer type of wallet or even an agenda, like an MM agenda or a GM agenda, I've seen people fit them in here, but you have to kind of put them in at an angle. So with this one, uh, with this bag, I often go for medium size, um, 
SLGs or if I want to go really compact and really maximize my space, I'll go for the smaller SLGs. Uh, but either way, this opening, I don't find it to be too fussy. Now this is coming from someone that when I first started my Louis Vuitton collection, I used to have the classic 35s. And back then I always thought, okay, 35, the 35, the 30, it was like a $20 difference between the two. And I figured go big or go home. The bigger, the bigger bag is the better way to go. But that's not always the case, at least not for myself, because I found it to be a little too large. So then I moved into the 30s and the 30 for me is the perfect hand carry speedy. The classic, I think it is wonderful. Uh, but I also love the 25 because because of its shape, you can really carry a lot more than you might think. Um, some people call it a, a bottomless pit just because of the style that it is, but I think it's wonderful. Whether you have an organizer in here and you can see everything at a glance, or if you have all your stuff kind of jumbled in, either way, I think that this bag is absolutely fantastic. Do I recommend it? 100%. Um, I know that some people are kind of over the speedy. They're like, dude, it's been around forever. It's time for a fresh new start, blah, blah, blah to each their own, but to me, I i mean, this is a classic. It is a true bona fide classic to the fashion house. It's an icon and it'll never go out of style. I just, I think it's great, absolutely wonderful. So um, I, I, I like it so much, or I love it so much, that I want to go for the bandolier and the Demi Azor because you guys know how I feel about Demi Azor. Uh, because again, I can take off the strap and add a little bit more versatility to it. I don't know, but it is a fabulous, fabulous bag. Whether you use it for every day, whether you use it for travel. Uh, I know some people have used it kind of like an errand bag or what have you. This is amazing and it will never, ever, ever go out of style in my opinion. I know that I spent a little bit of time on the Speedy 25 Bandolier, but I felt like I kind of had to, especially since I have had it for six and a half years. And I love it as much now as when I first got it. Actually, that's a lie. I love it even more because I have so much fun with the bag. And I really feel that this offers so much bang for your buck. Uh, and if you are looking at starting a Louis Vuitton collection or starting a luxury collection, and you want something uh, that you're going to be able to incorporate multiple ways into your into your lifestyle, I think that this is a fantastic way to go. So absolutely love the 25 bandolier. Moving on to this beauty. This is the Longchamp Le Pliage Extra Extra Small Top Handle Handbag in the Rose Leather. My goodness, that is a mouthful. So I've had this bag for six months now and uh, I think it's incredible. If you guys did watch my summer handbag picks, this bag was featured in there. Uh, I love it. I absolutely love the size. Yes, it says extra, extra small, but it's not tiny, which I think is fantastic. I've mostly used this bag uh, as a uh, errand bag and it's been perfect, especially because it does feature a, uh, a removable uh, strap. Now mine is the old version because the new version does feature an adjustable removable strap and I think that's definitely a game changer. Uh, but I think it's wonderful. This leather is amazing. It's very soft. Uh, I have some scratches along the backside. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see them. It's not too bad uh, and anytime I've gotten other scratches I've been able to buff them out just with my fingertips so I think that's great. But um, it's, it's a great little bag you know and it does doesn't break the bank, especially for the quality that you're getting. And as I said in the uh, unboxing video for this bag, I had always been really intrigued by Longchamp's uh, leather. A lot of people have always raved about it, and I'm happy to say that for me and in my experience with it, it's been it's been amazing. No issues whatsoever, no pop stitches, and uh, this really. This was really great for me in the summertime because I would use it crossbody, and like I said, it's very lightweight, it's very comfortable, and it didn't add the extra heat to this area here, uh, and the color. The color is just like, I think it's beautiful. Now one thing with this bag, let me just show you guys, it does have this little snap button closure here to open it up. Uh, just like the regular Le Pliage line. And it does have these little uh, rings so that way you can attach this strap to it. And the strap is very easy to uh, put on and take off because of the, the clasps. I love these. It's not fussy or anything along those lines. Um, but let me just show you guys the interior. And you do have the fabric interior here. You have one little zippered pocket there. And 
very spacious. I love that you can see everything at a glance. Uh, now, one thing I will mention about this, even though I do like the bag, sometimes I find it to be a little bit fussy because of this flap. Uh, so if I want to get in and out of the bag a little bit quickly, or quicker, I'm sorry, uh, I feel like sometimes it gets in the way or if I have to, if I want to get the item that I'm, you know, reaching for, I have to move these handles over in order to get in here. So this thing, I love it because it gives you extra security, you know, especially if you're somewhere where it's really crowded. This would be a wonderful travel bag, again, because of the size and because of the security. Uh, but it just feels a little bit like, oh, I have to move it over and then kind of move the handles over in order to get into the bag. So that to me can sometimes be fussy, especially if I want to get in and out of the bag at the checkout or what have you. Uh, but other than that, again, very, very spacious. So I do use it with this strap. Um, I think it's great. It's not uncomfortable. It doesn't dig into my skin either. Uh, it's still a little stiff only because I mostly end up using it with this strap. This is in a uh, gunmetal strap that I got, I think it was on Amazon for like 12 bucks. Uh, and it matches the gunmetal perfectly. Peep it out. Look at that. Awesome, right? But uh, yeah, it's, it's a great bag and uh, it's available in so many different colors. And if you are trying to venture, if you wanna try out a new color in your collection, if you want to go for a smaller bag without breaking the bank, but again, you want to have that great, great quality, I highly recommend these. If you do want the older version, the one without the adjustable strap, these you can find at Nordstrom Rack, which is where I got this one, for a lot less. Uh, because I do believe that the ones on the Longchamp website go for, I want to say it's like 445 or 480 somewhere along those lines. Please don't quote me on it. I will put the right price uh, down below, but uh, you can find them on Nordstrom Rack all the time for like 200 bucks, 230, 250. And if you want to try out a different brand or try out a different color or a little bit of a different style for your collection, I think that this is great. But again, this guy can be a little bit fussy. Uh, but other than that, it's been wearing fabulously. And in the summertime or in the springtime, this bag was absolutely wonderful. So I highly, highly recommend it. And Longchamp's uh, leather uh, has exceeded my expectations. But at the same time, I expected, I didn't expect anything less because I'm a huge fan of Longchamp in general. All right, moving on to this stunning beauty. This is the Fendi Baguette in the pale pink leather. I've had this bag for four months now. And if I could, if I had the economic possibility to add all of the leather baguettes that Fendi has, I totally would. I totally would. I think that this bag is incredible. Uh, now, you guys know that I also have it in the red sequence. I love that bag. Uh, my Dorothy bag, I use it often. Uh, but I also love this one because it's a little bit more toned down, and I am obsessed with this color, especially with the gold hardware. I think it makes for a beautiful marriage, uh, but I think it's great. Now, the color that you guys are seeing on camera, I know that the camera keeps getting a little bit darker, so I'm going to hold it at a distance. Uh, the color that you guys are seeing on camera, it looks almost like it has like a like an orangey undertone. Uh, it's more of a nudie pink. Uh, it does have that nudie color, but it also has that slight uh, pink undertone that I really, really like. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's such a great bag. This leather, my goodness, I wish you guys can feel this leather. It is so insanely soft. Uh, I find myself just sitting there just grabbing the bag because I cannot get enough of it. Uh, now, as far as the way that it's been wearing, it's been wearing fabulously. I do have some scratches on the buckle here, which is expected, especially with, uh, you know, the way that you get in and out of it. I also have some creasing, not too bad, um, on this backside here. I think that the color really helps to kind of, uh, to cover it up. I don't have any type of color transfer and uh, I have used this bag quite a bit. I have a lot of dark colored clothing. You guys know that I've used it a lot with denim and so far so good. Now this bag does come with a removable uh, leather strap and this strap is very comfortable. I love how thick it is. You have this stunning leather over here as well. So again, you can use it for extended periods of time. Honestly, I think I've probably used it a handful of times. I'm just not too fond of it. I appreciate that it's very comfortable uh, and I really like the length on it as well, but it just doesn't really 
I don't know. <laughs> you, you guys know how I am with straps. I feel like someone should call me the strap girl or something because I just, I don't know. It doesn't really make it or break it for me with this strap. For me personally, I like to hand carry it like this or I put it on my shoulder or the crook of my arm. And uh, I really like the fact that I still have a little bit of strap drop. It doesn't really hit underneath my arm. Uh, so I think that's great but I love using it just as a hand carry bag. And what I really love about this uh, this baguette is how spacious it is. And now this is the regular size because they do have a larger one, but this size is perfect. And it really has a lot of play because of the material, because of the leather. I have overstuffed this bag sometimes, no surprise there. Uh, usually I go for medium to smaller SLGs in here, again, if I wanna maximize my space, but it's great. It has so much play. You can see everything at a glance and I love it. It is so insanely comfortable to use this bag. Uh, I mean, however you carry it, because of this leather. Like I seriously cannot get enough of it. Uh, and uh, I know that had, some people had asked me if I was gonna get an organizer for it. I had contemplated getting an organizer. And I think that if you do get an organizer for this bag, uh, it, it's definitely gonna help with the creasing. You're not gonna see those creases as much as you would without one. Like here, you guys can see that I have the creasing, uh, especially on the corners here or on the sides. Uh, so if you want, if you wanted to kind of keep its shape a little bit better and age a little bit better in my opinion, I think that an organizer would be fantastic. Uh, but I don't really, I, I mean, I don't use one. I don't have one for it because I like, I like the slouchiness. I like the fact that it has structure, but not really. And, uh, it's just the smooshy, the smooshy, fantastic, fabulous back. I don't know. Uh, now these guys here, the fact that you do have a little bit of an open area between uh, the end of the bag and the end of this top uh, flap, uh, that doesn't bother me. I haven't had any issues with my items falling out, mostly because I put all of the contents of my bag uh, in pouches or in little cases, so I never have any issues with that. If you do carry all of your items uh, loosely, and if you do have those smaller ones, Ones, there is a chance like if you set this bag down or if you're kind of leaning over it really depends uh, there is a slight chance that some items might fall out if they're really really small uh, but for the most part again I haven't had any issues with that and it really doesn't bother me um, I, I think it's great just the way that it is but uh, sometimes I'll take off this strap and I will put a chain on here the uh, the Fendi o'clock or the whatever the, that chain is uh, I'll put it on here and I love the way that it looks as well but it is it is a fabulous fabulous handbag and um, obviously they did end up increasing the price but even with the price increase that it has had I think that this bag offers a lot of bang for your buck and this leather is just going to continue to age beautifully in my opinion even with the creases because I think that the creases add character to a bag I know that many people disagree with me and that's totally fine but um, you know I just don't I don't want it to look picture perfect I want it to have a little bit more you know I have I have wrinkles I want my bag to have wrinkles too so it doesn't bother me whatsoever but I, I think it's great. One other quick thing that I forgot to mention when it came to the baguette even though it does have a smaller base uh, because of the leather and because of the shape it stays in the upright position whether you have it fully loaded or if it's completely empty the way that I have it now which I personally love and appreciate because sometimes I have those other bags that have that skinnier base and it just falls over if I set it down on a table and sometimes that drives me a little bit nuts. I don't know about you guys, but I'm just like, oh, there it goes. Boom, it fell over. All my stuff went flying out. Or I don't know, I just find it to be a little bit sometimes annoying because I want it to stay in the upright position. Uh, but I love that this happens. I love that it doesn't fall over. It doesn't turn into that beautiful mess. So again, I wanted to mention it just in case. All right, so moving on to the last one, the Demillier Midi Montreal in the color taupe, if I'm not mistaken. So I've had this bag for a little over two months and as many of you guys know the company was incredibly gracious and they sent this to me. Uh, so this has 100% exceeded my expectations. If you guys watched that reveal video I was very I was super excited about the bag 
And when I opened it up, uh, I loved the attention to detail that it had. I love the craftsmanship that it had, and it has been wearing fabulously. I do have some slight hairline scratches on the hardware here, which is to be expected, especially because it is so prominent on the bag. Uh, now this is also available in a smaller size, but I really like it in the midi. Uh, I think it's perfect and uh, it's very simple. It's very understated, but I also feel that that speaks volumes. And uh, I mean, check this out. Look at how spacious this bag is. It also comes with a removable adjustable strap. I'm not too fond of this strap though. It's not bad because it doesn't dig into your skin necessarily. It is on the skinnier side, but the leather is also very, very soft. But I personally like to hand carry this bag because I really like the way that this looks or just kind of have it on the crook of my arm. Although on the crook of my arm, it's not the most comfortable just because it doesn't have the most generous handle drop. Uh, so again, I like to carry it like so, but back to the interior, peep it out. You can carry so much in here. You can carry full size items in here without any issues. Um, it's just, it's so insanely spacious. I love that you have a little bit of give and it's not this super stiff leather either. Uh, because I did think that maybe because of the finish that this leather has, that maybe I'll be able to see scratches on it, uh, but that definitely hasn't been the case. I haven't had any type of color transfer on it either. Now, the number one question that I've gotten on this is, if the, if the company hadn't sent this to me, would I personally spend my own money on it? Absolutely, 100%. Because like I said before, uh, the the craftsmanship and the way that it's been wearing has really exceeded my expectations. Not that I necessarily expected anything less, but it was a new brand to my collection. I didn't know, um, I mean, I heard what people were saying about them. I watched reviews on this brand. Uh, so I was very, very intrigued, but until I put it to the test for myself and the way that I incorporate it into my lifestyle, uh, it's been wearing amazingly well. So yes, I would absolutely go for another bag uh, that, the, that the brand has or even a different material to see how that ends up wearing. But this has been a slam dunk. I love that it has feet along the bottom. Uh, it's, it's great. It's absolutely great. And I love this color, this gold hardware. I feel like it really sings through, you know, and it comes, uh, it comes through with flying colors, but yeah, it's, it's great. And again, I, lo I love this. I cannot get enough of how spacious that is. And I don't have any gnarly cre uh, creases on the side here, you know, and sometimes I have overstuffed this bag again, no surprises there. And it's not insanely uncomfortable either. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's great. It is great. And they also have a really great price point. It has a very affordable price point for the quality that you're getting. And most of all, I love that it's available in some of the bigger stores as well. So you don't have to go through the one website. You don't have to worry that, you know, what if it doesn't work out? Can I return it or any of those things? Uh, I think that um, not only do they have a very, I think that they have a great return policy if it doesn't work out for you. But the fact that again, you can get it at other stores, uh, let's, you know, gives you an opportunity to try it out through them as well. But um, yeah, I am I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with Demillier, and uh, I think it's great. I know that a lot of people have the Vancouver, and I think that's a beautiful silhouette as well because it reminds me so much of the Celine box bag without the giant price tag, which is a total, total win, right? But anyways, that does it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope I was able to give you a little bit more information on these bags, especially if you're looking to add them to your collection. I will add links on the description box below if you guys want to peep them out for yourselves. But again, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.